This is a guide on replacing a touchscreen digitizer and the LCD on a Dell Latitude 3189 2-in-1 Chromebook. It's a popular convertible laptop tablet that is used in schools. This one has a broken front glass, but the entire display assembly will need to be replaced since it's fused together at the factory. It is a fairly complex replacement, so we will try to be extra detailed during the installation. For the installation process, we'll need the following tools. A plastic pick, a Phillips screwdriver, and a flat screwdriver. First, we'll need to separate the back of the display assembly. Use a plastic pick to unsnap the back cover near the hinges. Continue unsnapping the tabs on the right side. Move over to the left, then the bottom edge. Remove the back cover. This is the replacement front assembly. It gives us a clue on how the original part is mounted. There are eight screws holding the display assembly to the hinge rails. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove a screw in the bottom right corner. Remove another screw in the bottom left corner. Peel the silver tape covering the right hinge and the left hinge to expose the screws. Depending on your replacement part, some components will need to be transferred from the original display assembly. In our case, the sensor magnets will need to be transferred. Those inform the computer when the lid is closed, so it can turn off the display and go to sleep when not in use. Continue separating the display by removing the three flat-headed Phillips screws from the right hinge. Remove three more screws from the left hinge. Using a plastic pick, lift up the securing film away from the video connector. Remove the blue foamy from the connector. Using a plastic pick, open the connector's bracket. And using both hands, disconnect the video connector, making sure that it's not slanted when coming out. Peel the clear tape off the left bottom magnet and using a flat screwdriver, pick out the magnet and transfer it to the new assembly. Pick out the right bottom magnet and transfer it to the new assembly. Pick out a magnet located on the right edge and transfer it. Peel off silver tape securing the webcam assembly on the bottom edge. Using a plastic pick, pick off a copper grounding pad off the Wi-Fi antenna on the left bottom edge. Using a plastic pick, separate the Wi-Fi antenna from its placement. Pick off the aluminum grounding pad of the second Wi-Fi antenna on the right bottom edge. Separate the second Wi-Fi antenna from its placement. Begin removing the two antenna cables from their guiding channels, carefully separating the tape that is holding the wires in. Using a plastic pick, separate the Bluetooth module near the top edge. Transfer the little silver foamy from underneath the module to the new assembly. Peel off the black USB cable going to the touch digitizer module. Carefully disconnect the cable from the touch digitizer module. Using a plastic pick, open the touch digitizer connector uh, cable uh, locking lever. Pull out the ribbon cable from the touch digitizer module. Pick out the touch digitizer module and transfer it to the new assembly if needed. Begin removing the webcam cable from the guiding channel. Set all of the wires aside above the hinges. At this point, the original display assembly can be separated from the laptop. Lift up both hinge rails away from the display. 
you may need to open the display assembly up to 120 degrees to free it from the hinges. Place the new display assembly on the keyboard. Our new part has the digitizer controller built in and has the appropriate connector at the end of its flex cable. The old digitizer module is not needed. Simply unfold the flex cable and secure it in place with double-sided adhesive tape. Mount the new display assembly on the hinges and close the lid flat. Replace the three Phillips screws on the left hinge. Replace the three Phillips screws on the right hinge. Two more screws go in the left and the right corners. In our case, the new part comes with standardized size screw placements, but the original corner screws are too small. So we are taking the least needed screws from each of the hinges and relocating them into the corners. Moving on, we're replacing the Bluetooth module, making sure that the silver foamy is positioned properly. Next, unlock the touch digitizer flex cable connector's counter lever and plug in the touch digitizer cable. Lock the connector's counter lever. Using both hands, carefully reconnect the video connector and lock the connector's bracket. Very important, you must not twist or slant the connector when plugging it in. It must be inserted without its pins crossing over or coming in contact with the jack's metal housing. Replace the blue foamy over the connector and secure the connector with clear tape. Tuck the Bluetooth and touch digitizer cables into their appropriate channels. Next, route the Wi-Fi antenna cables into their appropriate channels. It is extremely important to make sure that all accessory cables that run on the perimeter do not interfere with the back cover lid tabs. The cover can pinch the cables and cause further damage to the laptop if accessory cables aren't positioned properly and secured in place. Replace the right Wi-Fi antenna and secure the aluminum grounding pad to the LCD. Make sure the antenna cables are routed inside their channel guides. Replace the left Wi-Fi antenna and secure the copper grounding pad to the LCD. Route the webcam cables in its appropriate channel guides and replace the webcam. Secure the webcam cables with tape. At this point, the new display can be tested. Lift up the lid and slide the power button to on position. If the startup graphics appears, the LCD is connected properly. Shut down the computer and close the lid. Replace the back cover. Align at the bottom edge, then go around the perimeter snapping the tabs underneath. Flip the laptop over to properly close the back cover near the hinge. Turn the laptop on and we're done.